Ooh. New 3D printer from Fusen. Today, I acknowledge that math, <laughs> hey, calm down, math trumps desire. So I have had my solar set up now for about a month and I didn't show it in the video, but I installed these solar panels. These were actually sent to me by Home Power, right? These needed a little bit of a conversion to get them up and running. I had to splice in my own wires, but these are 200 watt panels. I literally just dangled in there. It was like minimal effort. And then you have the 180 watt panels that I did a review on. Now that I've had a month underneath the belt, I've been able to crunch some numbers. And those numbers are that this setup, right as it is, totally not worth it. Not at all. I apologize in advance for the annoying dogs next door. They're just going to bark. So basically after having this for a month, I've been able to go through my bill, my energy bill, see how exactly much I spend every month. Well, give or take some change on electricity and then go through and see how much this little tiny array is giving me. Spoiler alert. It's not much. By the way, yes, uh, I am sick. If you don't follow me on Twitter, uh, I got, you know, the thing that everyone's raving about. I don't know what version of it it is, but it is very mild symptoms. Aside from the nose thing, the nose thing's kind of getting me. And the fatigue thing. And I guess there's a stomach thing, but not really that bad. So I was working on a video about the 3D printer I showed you in the beginning of this video. And basically what I was going to do was a quick build, like unbox, build it, and do a print. And I was going through that video and I realized I didn't want to do that. At least not the way that I was initially going to do it. So because it's nice outside, I decided to take down these solar panels. So taking these down should be pretty simple. Uh, really, it's just a matter of unplugging everything and unwrapping and, you know, like, boom, look at that. And then snipping the zip ties. Like this was seriously temporary, but I ran it for 30 days and I found that in the same billing cycle, in the same billing cycle of my electricity company, I was producing 61 kilowatt hours worth of electricity. Now, 61 kilowatt hours multiplied by math is $5 a month. Yay. Now, don't get me wrong. I had full expectations that my little tiny, you know, dual 180 and then dual 200 watt at the wrong angle, that my little tiny solar array wasn't going to do much. But since this thing peaked out about 650 watts, usually hovering around 500 to 550 watts, uh, I was expecting maybe, I don't know, 10, 20 bucks a month or something, you know, something. But no, $5, $5 five bucks. And in order to judge this, I had to set it to battery priority, which means the battery is discharging because I have a small battery bank. The battery is discharging twice a day, at least twice a day. Two, dos, dos. So doing some quick math, it would take 180 months in order to get the return on the cost of the batteries with just this solar array. Obviously that just means, okay, I did my test. I got my numbers, put it to bed, unhook it, put it to bed. And what made it even worse is that after using the Emporia Smart Home Energy Monitor, I realized that I could turn off certain light bulbs in the house that run all the time and save more money. Seriously though, I had a spreadsheet and everything. I laid it out and I could take some very minor energy saving things into play and I could save myself probably $50 a month pretty easily. But don't get me wrong, I'm not bashing the whole solar panel idea. I'm just putting the assumptions that I had going into this little test project of mine to fact. Basically saying what this is, is nothing but a nice test array, and that's it. That's it. If it's going to earn me $5 a month worth, worth of electricity, it is not worth having sitting out here. It's embarrassing. And honestly, when I made the video, I said, I can't wait till Karen reports me. Guess what? Never got reported. No one told me to took it down. That's a good thing. Although I'm surprised, but it's still a good thing. I don't know where I was going with that. Honestly, I guess I was just uh, pointing out the fact that I have nice neighbors and they allow me to run my test uninhibited without reporting me to the HOA. So I guess that's nice. And to answer your next question, no, I did not lose my sense of smell or taste. 
But man, this nose is really kind of getting to me. I know that I said I set my expectations low, but I still had hopes. I, I really was like hoping for like 10, 15, 20 bucks a month. That would have been nice. I mean, is 20 bucks too much to ask for? I mean, if you really look at this, it's like a work of art. You know, so sad to see it go. And just like that, my back fence is clear again. Yes, I need to take out the back fence. I gotta win certain battles first, but yeah, it's on the list. Now that I have everything cleaned up and looking normal-ish again, I wanna take this opportunity where it's still daytime, it's somewhat nice in the dead middle of winter, and I have a rope and a dog. What experiment you say? Well, she likes exercise and she likes balls. Let's see if my rope's long enough. I don't know if it is. I don't know if it is. Definitely not long enough to go around that fence. <laughs> but I do have some electricity poles. <laughs> okay, hear me out. Vest, ball, rope. It's a little loopy loop. Come here. Good girl, good girl, yeah, yeah. She likes to chase balls, but she likes to go all night long. All right, stay, hey, stay, stay, stay. You want the ball? Go get it, get it. Oh God, go get it, get the ball, get the ball. Ah, oh, damn it. Backfired instantly. You know what? This worked on TikTok, woman. No? You know, that would have been so funny. Luna, Luna, go get the ball, get the ball. Luna, go get the ball, get the ball. Go get it. No, nothing? Well, you suck. If you suck and you know it, get the ball. <laughs> Hear me out. 2,000, almost 700 kilowatt hours used in one billing cycle. This is during the winter. They charge me, Evergy is my energy company, they charge me $300 for that. $300. Thanks to the Emporia Smart Home Energy Monitor, I was able to conclude that I use too much <laughs> I use too much energy in parts of the house I don't need to. Example, I could have saved, I don't know, like 40 kilowatt hours or something like that just by turning off the front porch lights every night. But I keep them on. Okay, it's probably not 40 bucks, but you get the idea. It's like the porch lights, the, the spare bedroom, just, you know, lights that just, they're on for no reason. Which, if you think about it, is natural human evolution. Now I understand why dads everywhere are screaming at their kids, turn off those damn lights! 61 kilowatt hours in the winter. Definitely not worth having something on my back fence. So, when I scale this up, now that I've had a great, not a failure, but a learning opportunity, Right now that I've kind of learned this out, learned this out, the first thing I need to do is expand my battery bank. I know what batteries I want. I don't want to go with the ones that I bought. I want to change to something different, but that's going to be a future thing. That's going to be the first thing. Obviously, if you're going to get a bunch of sun power, you, got, you have to have somewhere to store it. So if you don't have batteries, then, you know, what's the point of getting solar? Yes, I'm trying to get my winter slim down in, okay? This is why I'm eating oranges. Guys, the lesson of today is solar panel, batteries, things like that, not cheap. And if you want to do it, depending on what scale you're trying to do, because I was literally just running a laptop, that's it. It was discharging my batteries twice a day. I have 100 amp hours of battery, and I was dis uh, discharging them twice a day. Just running a laptop with a 2070 in it to mine cryptocurrency. So... Uh, totally not worth it. $5 a day. Not worth it at all. Instead, I'm just going to run it off my grid. <clears throat> just like normal. Also, you know, if this is the uh, Omnicron variant, I don't want to get flagged by YouTube for some warning. But if it is that thing, it's kind of mild, but really feeling it like a sinus infection-y. That's about it. But that is it for today, guys. I can't wait to get more prints in this in. I got to figure out what this is. Um... Was that the first print issue? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. It's literally the first real print I did was a band hammer. But I can't wait to get this underway, get this really tested, because uh, this is supposed to be a really fast 
3D printer. Kind of excited to see how fast I can push it. Well, if you guys have any feedback on what you saw today, make sure to yell at me in the comments down below. As always, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and have yourself a great day.